Hi, uh, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to try and teach you how to do the Sin City effect, otherwise known as Pleasantville effect, Color Splash effect, Keep Color effect, uh, a million other things. It's the effect where everything's in black and white except for one color. Uh, I'm going to assume you know the basics of, of uh, similar editing, how to make clips drop on the timeline, that kind of thing. If not, there are a bunch of really great tutorials out there. Go Google for them, YouTube for them, and come back when you're done. So, um, first of all, just you have to have a certain amount of luck with the clips that you choose because you need a bright block of colour to, to work it in this in this program. Um, so for example this would be a terrible candidate because you've got the grey of his tanks, the grey of the wall. Y you'd even be surprised like how much the, the lighter marks on his skin end up you know mixing with, with uh, the, the lights of the shadow there. It's it's just a, a bad candidate so anyway I'll, I'll get on with it. What you need to do is you need to drop your first clip down and then we need another video track and we need the exact same clip on top. Now I know you're wondering why we're using this clip if it's if it's so bad, but if if we go to here, you'll see that he has bright bright blood there all over his hands, and that is going to be a good bright colour to mask out. Okay, so um, what you want to do is first of all, you see this video one. We're just going to turn that off and disarm it because we want to forget that's there because otherwise. While we're doing our mask work, this will show through from underneath and we won't, we won't be able to tell what we've done or what we haven't done. So we'll come back to that, the, the lower track later. Most of the work we need to do is on the top track. So video effects, you want chroma key HSV, which is like the other chroma key but more fiddly and better and we have more control. So we'll drop that on. Um, haha, and as you can see, this is from... Right, so the first thing we want to do is just take this back to the defaults I usually start with and I'll show you how, how we get that end effect. So say put this just down to some random colour. Now, what you need to do is get colour, so this button in the compositor here, and then try and grab some of that red. Then go to use a colour picker, press that, yeah. Now the reason you're not seeing anything yet is because I have hue tolerance zero, which is, you know, how, how much that specific colour on either side it will mask out. Uh, and I always start with these defaults because they're a good place to start and then you slowly increase and decrease different settings until you get a good mask. So hue tolerance, zero. Minimum brightness, zero. Maximum brightness, zero. Saturation off... Sorry, maximum brightness, 100. My apologies. Saturation offset, zero. Minimum saturation, zero. In slope and out slope, both at zero. Alpha offset at zero, but that's in the middle there. Spill threshold at zero and spill compensation at 100. The first thing you need to do is increase the hue tolerance so that you actually get, you know, an amount of it there. And you'll see we're starting to get. Oh, I need to do a bit more that. You end up with these these blocks around it and all over his hair and his arms there, which obviously you don't want. And unfortunately, you're probably not going to be able to pick up quite the, the pinks around, you know, all the blood on his elbow, his hand. We'll, we'll get most of it. Now, the minimum brightness increase it and you'll actually see after a while you start to clear off some of those extra blocks there yeah you can decrease the maximum a bit too but as you see then you start actually breaking up the nice clean black there so you don't really want to mess too much with that in, in this particular instance but whatever you're trying to do try it and see uh, slowly increase the saturation offset don't increase it too much because the more you increase this, the more the minimum saturation tends to go crazy. But the minimum saturation is really a, a, a useful one there. Um, now, actually, that's a pretty good mask. I'm pretty happy with that um, without messing too much with the in and out slopes. But I mean, basically, they do kind of the same thing. This this tends to clear it a bit. Out slope actually is sometimes useful in getting a bit of that black back. Alpha offset in this instance, we're not going to mess with because it kind of tends to mess with the opacity of the mask. And since we just want that. It's, you know, you, you do this and you end up sort of with, with no mask and you do this and you end up with just all mask. It's not, you know, you can mess with it, but in this effect it's it's not very useful. Um, spill threshold, again, it's not, it's not doing too much in, in this in this, in this this case. These aren't, these aren't sort of proving too useful. Sometimes I find spill threshold useful. Um, if you actually look at what, what it does, it kind of creates grayscale. You can kind of see around his ear there and around his face to kind of try and hide the mask and this can be kind of useful if you have too many similar colours around it but you know in this case. So anyway we're done with masking there's there's your mask. So the next thing you want to do is colour balance okay and we'll drag colour balance onto this or we'll, we'll, we'll fail to there we go. Now it's gone grayscale that's because if you look at the preferences I've just taken everything oh 
down to nothing. See? So we can back down to nothing. So it all goes to grey. And I've checked preserve luminosity because otherwise it all goes to black, which which you don't want. Okay? So everything down to zero and preserve luminosity gives you a grayscale effect. Now what you want to do is remember this second track down here? Yeah? Press the green button so that it shows up and you can see you've got the red from the track beneath showing through where we masked out. Now that though looks kind of blocky and kind of ugly so the way you fix that is you put a blur effect onto this and as you can see all of a sudden it looks a lot smoother. Now the blur effect itself again if we have a look at the settings I've only selected blur alpha if you pick blur red, green and blue you end up with a very blurry guy yeah I mean you know clear hand where it's masked but very blurry guy see yeah everything except the hand is blurring and you know that's even kinda an interesting look there but not what we're going for um, so you don't really want too much blur there usually I have it under 10 you know, maybe like 8 that, that's good um, I leave both horizontal and vertical checked and, and that's it there you go if you if you drag this along you'll see he moves around there's the blood in his hands and he puts it down and everything else is in grayscale and um, there you have it that's the effect